Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we got our Bulbasaur and we also beat uh, Blue. We also headed off to Viridian City. We got a parcel, we came back, and we got a Pokedex. I haven't shown off the Pokedex, nor have we actually seen a Pidgey, even though the Pidgey is more common. Um, in this part, we're going to be heading north, and we're also going to be explaining a bit of stuff. So yeah, um, so yeah. Anyway, um, last part I said that we had, uh, you could carry six Pokemon with you. You can switch them out. We can't really switch out right now because we've only got one Pokemon. We also don't even have any balls. But yeah, um, yeah, we don't actually have any balls. Anyway, that's another Rattata. Blah blah. I should probably use Leech Seed at some point in time. We'll use it right now. He evaded it. That's that's great. Uh, evasion is based on speed, by the way. If it says you missed, that's personal. That's because your accuracy. Different attacks have different uh, accuracies, and if they miss, then that's because you just bad luck. Uh, by the way, you can see that it says 22 out of 35, 40 out of 40. That's the number of times you can use this move. It's called PP. You can also see the type of the move. Um, the PP is basically how many times you can use the move before it runs out of usages. And you'll need to either use an elixir, I think, or, or you'll need to go to a Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center will completely revive all of your Pokemon for free. So, but they only come like every so often. Uh, you can also use them as many times as you want, which is nice. Uh, by the way, you also saw the type of the move back there. Um, the type of the move is completely irrelevant to your own personal type. I mean, generally, a water-type Pokemon will learn water-type moves. But, you know, you can learn a variety of moves. And depending on that move type, it will affect your def your actual Pokemon type. Um, sorry, your... If you use a Grass-type move, it's, pa it's damage that it deals is dependent on your opponent's types. So yeah. Uh, generally, if a move is strong against one type, it will be weak in the reverse direction. Uh, so for example, if I use a Grass-type move on a Fire-type Pokemon, it will only do half damage, whereas if I do a Fire-type move on a Grass Pokemon, it will do double damage. However, some like fighting against normal... Uh, normal against fighting does regular damage, but fighting against normal does twice as much. Like, some things are like that. I just want to try and teach you guys this, because if you don't know Pokemon, then sure. I am in a hurry. Time is money. Okay, we'll talk to this guy, because he's kind of cool. Wait, what? Hold on. Nope. Don't you know how to catch Pokemon? I'll show you how to, then. Holy snap, a Weedle just came out of nowhere! You can't find any Pokemon in this city, by the way. He has 50 balls! So many balls. Also, this is not a good demonstration on how to catch Pokemon. I mean, it shows you, like, what to use and, like, how to do it. But, here's a tip. If you're going to try and catch Pokemon, make sure you weaken the Pokemon first. There's a higher chance of catching it if you weaken the Pokemon. Also, if you head around here, this guy's all like, it's always close. I wonder who the leader is. This is such an awkward ledge. You have to go all the way around the gym just to, just to even get to the door. And then it's just like, gym doors are locked. And then it chucks you down. It's, it's kind of mean. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So, uh, what level are we? Um, eight. And we don't have any other Pokemon on this. Uh... Let's see, do we have... We don't have any Pokeballs. I'm going to try and catch myself... I'm actually going to head a bit north. Uh, so, firstly, I'm going to head in here. We've got 3,175 Pokebucks, as I like to call them. We can buy Pokeballs, Antidotes, Paralyzed Hills, and Burn Hills. These are status conditions. Um, antidote kills poison, Paralyzed Hills, Paralyzed, and Burn Hills, Burn. 
Pokeballs are what you use to catch Pokemon, so I'm gonna buy 10 of them, because trust me, you will want Pokeballs. There are also much more, there are upgraded versions, such as the Great Ball and the Ultra Ball. Uh, those have a higher chance of catching a Pokemon, but they cost a bit more money as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, let's head up into Route 2. Now, there is a little bit of a route on the side there, on the west side, but we're not going to go there right now. We're actually going to head up into Viridian Forest. Um, in this route, by the way, you can catch a Rattatar. Uh, you can find Rattatars, there's a 45% chance of finding that. You can find Pidgeys, which is a 40% of that. And you can also find Weedle and Caterpie, uh, depending on what t what game you're playing. Oh, there's a Pidgey. Um, depending on what game you're playing. Uh, I would like to catch a Pidgey, but I would prefer to get a Caterpie. Um, Pidgey is a flying type Pokemon, by the way. Uh, it's a normal flying type, so it knows Gust, which is a flying type move. Um, or is Gust a normal type in this game? I can't remember. I remember one attack was like normal type for some reason. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, you, so you can find Weedle, which is a 15% chance if you're playing red, and a Caterpie, which has a 15% chance if you're playing blue. Weedle is not an exclusive, though, because you can find them both in this next area. Um, uh... They're not exclusives, however, there's a much higher chance of finding Caterpie in blue, and a much higher chance of finding Weedle in red. You just walk sideways. <laughs> uh, what do you have to say? Yeah, I am going in the forest. It's a natural maze! Alright. Well, we're gonna walk in here. This music. They're out for Pokemon fights. Oh, no. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so, um... Weedle... Uh, both Weedle and Caterpie actually fully evolve at level 10, which is great, because you can get some really nice stats. Uh, however, Weedle, uh, Weedle has a bit of a bad moveset, and probably, and the problem with both of them is that they get really weak really quickly, so they're only really good for the early parts of the game. Um, you can also find Pokeballs. That, that is a Pokeball, yeah. Um... Let's see, we can also find two hidden items, which basically are, it doesn't come with an icon. For example, there's an antidote there. What does this sign say? Yeah, uh, so I don't recommend Weedle a lot. I recommend Caterpie a bit more. Caterpie uh, has a pretty good moveset. Again, he also evolves quick, and the great part is that he's psychic type when he max evolves. Uh, they're both bug type, except Weedle is bug poison, and he will always be bug poison. Whereas on the last evolution of Caterpie, he will become... Ah, here we go, our first trainer battle. Uh, the last evolution of Caterpie actually becomes psychic type. And the psychic type is strong against the first, uh, the first gym. Uh... The problem with Caterpie, again, is that his moveset doesn't really end up being that great in the end. Uh, so here's a Weedle. It's level 6. Um, by the way, any um, trainer battle will give you one and a half times more experience. It's just naturally better to fight trainers. Uh, the problem with trainers, however, is that you can't run away. Uh, you can see that it said run, run in the bottom, right? Thankfully, Poison is not very effective against Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur is Poison type. It's Grass Poison. And the best part about poison types is that poison types can't be poisoned themselves. I think, yeah. Uh, poison basically means you take damage every turn. Uh, oh, string shot lowers your speed, but the problem is I'm slow already, so it doesn't really matter. Um, by the way, all of these lower your speed, that's only temporary for the battle. Um, I'm level 9, which is great. Uh, hopefully we can try and find a Caterpie as well. I mean... An enemy cat, cat enemy, like a wild one. Um, so yeah. So it says run in the bottom right. Uh, depending on your speed stat, it determines like, uh, depending on your speed stat, you have a chance of running away. Generally, if you're a much higher level, then sure, you'll run away really easily. But if you're a low level, you're gonna kinda get stuffed. Um, by the way, you'll see that this Caterpie is dying rather quickly. That's because, yeah, these Caterpies and stuff, they're very weak. 
Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, in this, uh, in this forest, you can also find, uh, the evolutions, Kakuna and Metapod. Kakuna is the evolution of Weedle, and Metapod is the evolution of Caterpie. You can find them both, uh, in here, um, uh, as well as the, the first evolutions. However, I don't like catching them, because the only move they know is Harden, which increases your defense. They don't know any attacking moves, unless if you've evolved them. Uh, if you evolve them, they don't forget moves. Uh, all forget- all forgetting moves just goes by you anyway. Um, but yeah. Um, I just realized I could be stuffed. No, uh, I think I'm okay. But I'm going into a- of course you miss. Of course you fail! Goodness, um... Wow, how am I missing so much? How is he missing so much? I'm gonna use Leech Seed, because I don't trust myself. Uh, now we actually get to see Leech Seed in action. You ready? At the end of a turn, it does this. And then I get a bit of health from him, which is nice. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, so Metapod and Kakuna, while they are the evolutions, this Pokemon evolves... Caterpie and Weedle evolve so quickly that there's no point in trying to catch the evolved version. Uh, and the problem is, they don't really learn their good moves. So... So, it's a bit tough to try and train them up here. Uh, I'd recommend just catching the pre-evolutions. There's also a 5% chance of catching Pikachu in this area, or finding, finding Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu's pretty good, he's fast, he's got good moves, but the problem is, uh, he evolves through a stone. Uh, which is yeah, a Kikuna. Now, evolving through a stone means you need to find a certain stone, and that, yeah, you see, you see what he's doing here. Uh, you need to find a certain stone, and you can use that stone on the Pokemon, and it'll evolve it. You know, no sweat. The problem with all of those evolutions is that while you can get them at pretty low levels, the evolutions, a lot of the moves will be missed out on. You'll miss out on a lot of good moves just through leveling, so... I try to steer away from those kinds. Yeah, this is fighting... Kakuna in a nutshell, and Metapod as well. Everyone jokes about Metapod more, more, but... Thankfully, the third generation also includes Metapods. Uh, in, sorry, it has a Metapod-like enemy. You know, Silcoon and Cascoon. I got this. So anyway, yeah, so... Battles right now, it pretty much comes down to tackle, 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 because Bulbasaur only really knows tackle for a long time. Which is why I recommend catching another Pokemon as well. I'm level 11, that's pretty high up, I'd say. He ran out of Pokemon. Uh, anyway, we're, I'm gonna go through the grass, because I need to find myself a Caterpie at some point. Um, Caterpie is... the most common one to find as a half chance. Oh, it's a Metapod. And he's level 4 as well, that's dreadful. Um, Caterpie evolves at level 7, and then evolves again at level 10. Um, Metapod evolves at level 10, so... There's no point in buying a... a buying... in catching an underleveled Metapod. Anyway, we're gonna look around until we find a Caterpie. Now, uh, the problem with Pikachu, by the way, is that, uh, the first gym... Pikachu is completely useless. There we go. Now, I know he's level 4, however, we could probably do this, provided I don't kill him in one go. Good. Caterpie is one of the easiest Pokemon to catch, but he's also the weakest one in this game. Granted, he's one of the early ones you can find. And the problem with the first gym is that Caterpie is the only one that you can catch. It's the only Pokemon that you can catch that's actually strong against the first gym. Everyone else is normal type and is weak. And he, he keeps breaking out of my ball. Leech Seed. I can't even catch a Caterpie. Wow, I, I can't even catch a Caterpie. There you go. Caterpie will not be a permanent member of my party. Uh, however, he will be will be a nice one to have. He's a worm, and he's a foot tall. Holy snap! Ah. Uh, we shall call him... Uh... 
after one of my favorite bosses in Mario Galaxy. We will call him Bugaboom. So we got Bubba and Bugaboom. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, so anyway, yeah, so... Now, we've got a Caterpie. Uh, between parts, I'm going to heal up. I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to heal up and I'm going to level up Caterpie until he is... I'll say level... 10? Yeah, I guess so. And I will show you the evolution because... Because Caterpie evolves really early. You know, Bulbasaur evolves at like level 16, so... <laughs> so, I don't really <laughs> recommend... Well, I mean, don't try and evolve your Bulbasaur. You don't need to evolve your Bulbasaur. Um, but I will try and... Hopefully Bulbasaur will get his first move. Uh, anyway, other than that, uh, we'll see you guys later, where we'll continue on with stuff. And we're also heading to that side route, where we'll f see something nice. Anyway, see you guys later. Da-da-da-da.